What's good, y'all? DJ Duro, a.k.a. your favorite for another episode of Fatherhood Fraternity. So I wanted to make a video and let y'all know how our weekend went. And as you can see by the title, this is our first weekend without Ava. Never has there been a week, a day, or anything where we haven't woke up to see our daughter in a full 24 hours. So on Friday, we have plans to drop her off after work. We're gonna meet my mom halfway from Columbus to Dayton and to Springfield. So usually a Friday at work, you're like excited, like let's hurry up and get this day over with. But I'm like, nah, let's get this day over with. But I wanna, I'll be, I'm gonna be spending time away from my daughter. And I, I enjoy it. I enjoy spending time with my wife. I enjoy spending time with my daughter. I enjoy family time. That's something that I really look forward to. So it was kind of bittersweet. So of course I wanted to leave work. <laughs> I mean, you know, so we um, get everything together. We have her packed up. We make sure that we have enough clothes, extra outfits. We have a stroller. We got like toys. We got a playpen. We got the everything. We basically packed up her room because you know, new parents are going to overpack and overdo it. And we are new parents, um, true to form. So, um, you know, I had the little anxiety like, man, I hope she doesn't cry all weekend. I hope my mom does all right. But then I even had to think about it. Even as one of my friends said, my mom raised me, so I'm cool. So she's definitely gonna be all right with my daughter. And she loves, she really loves her more than she even loved me. You know how, once you have a kid, your parents are like two times more lovable than they ever have been in your life. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Bye bye. Bye. See you later. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. See you later. I love you. See you later. Can I have a kiss? No. Can I have a kiss? Okay, you gonna call me? Ava. Bye bye. You gonna call me? Like, man, go ahead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she is not worried about me. All right, we'll see you later. All right, be safe. Bye bye. I'll talk when I get home. Okay, yes, please. At her usual bedtime, it's about 8 30 to 9, but you know, parent how you want to. So, you know, we had to make sure that we stayed busy because I did not want to be sitting around looking at my wife, looking at our baby's old photos and and we're playing with toys and reminiscing the whole weekend, especially when we have only this one time to, you know, to have fun with, without her. So, um, Chantel, she decided to sit in the house and get some sleep. That was her main objective as a scene for the whole weekend was to take naps. So, I mean, I can't be mad at her for that. that you never really get to me naps in as, as a parent, especially taking care of the child. So, she did what she had to do. Me. I worked, I did some photography work, I did some video work, and it's, I, I usually feel bad leaving the house and getting work done, but I really felt like I really took advantage of that time to do it. One thing we got to do though this weekend was we have to kick it for a couple birthday dinners um, slash go away parties downtown. We have to dress up, we have to look nice, we have to enjoy ourselves, we have to be adults.
we have to play um, some pinball. Now, pay attention to this. As much as Chantel loves donuts, we've discussed this. We've, we've discussed this plenty of times. She loves pinball. So I know when we get money, we're gonna have to get a pinball machine in the house. So we got to play some pinball, we have to have some drinks, we have to like kick it at night with no curfew. It was fun. Um, I, I definitely didn't expect to have as much fun as we did because I thought I was gonna be like, man, where's my baby? Bring my baby home. I didn't want to call. I didn't want to hear her crying. None of that. So I thought by Saturday that I was gonna be like, bring my baby home, let me go get her. But I wasn't, I was cool. I missed her, but I allowed myself to enjoy my time, my wife, and my friends. I got to kick with a lot of dope people over the weekend, and everybody asks, where's Ava? That's something we gotta get used to, and I'm fine with it, because we're, we're a team. So, Sunday, it was time to pick her up. We picked her up after my mom got out of church, uh, met her back in Springfield, and this is how it went. Hi, Ava. Hi. You remember us? <laughs> You don't Hi. want to see us? You don't care about us, pal? It's <laughs> been that long. Hi. Can I have some? Okay. Hi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ava. Say cheese. You have fun with Mimi? Uh, look at you snickering. Did you have fun? <laughs> Welcome back. So we were happy. We, you could tell we were ex excited to see her. Uh, we were hope. <laughs> Chantel always acted as, as if Ava's going to forget who she is. No, she's never going to do that. But we had fun. We had fun without her. We had fun with her. And we're glad our baby was taken care of. And that's, that was the main objective, was to make sure that we're allowed to be adults and that we were taking, my daughter was taken care of. And we had fun. So we got to go to a cookout after with our people Rich and Tika and look what happened.